Stage one and stage two tanks are pressed. High flow engine purge is enabled. Deluge activated. T minus twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. T plus 46 seconds and there goes another electron on its way to space for this 20 second launch from the pad from Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1. Soon the rocket will experience its peak amount of stress as it travels incredibly quickly over a large distance. This moment is called maximum aerodynamic pressure or what's known as Max Q and is one of the first gates electron needs to clear to make it to orbit. Max Q. And we have passed Max Q and Electron is continuing the journey to space. Propulsion looks nominal on Electron's first stage as the rocket approaches the next major milestones of launch. In a few moments Electron's nine Rutherford engines will throttle down and then shut off completely to slow the rocket down. This milestone is called Main Engine Cutoff or MECO and it occurs just before Electron's first and second stages separate. Once that's happened, very quickly, Electron's 10th engine on the second stage will light up to maintain its trajectory with the booster's descent back to Earth. But first, let's wait to hear the call out from Mission Control that those events have occurred successfully. Miko confirmed. Stage separation successful. Stage ignition. There you have it, Electron has had a successful Miko. Bearing separation confirmed. Electron bearing has successfully separated as Thank we get ready to deploy the two Black Sky satellites to their low Earth orbit within the hour. In about one minute or so, Electron's first stage will reach Apogee. Our next launch event will be the battery hot swap set to take place on Electron's second stage. Because our Rutherford engines maintain their power source from batteries, at a certain point those batteries run out of charge. Hot swap successful. Battery jettison confirmed. Stage to propulsion is holding on the